ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೇದಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆಸೀನರಾದ ನನ್ನ ಗುರುಗಳಾದ ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ವಿ ರಾವ್ ಅವರೇ ಇಸ್ರೋದಿಂದ ಒಬ್ಬರು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಲ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಅಧ್ಯಾಪಕರು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳ ಜೊತೆ ಸಂವಾದ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನೀವು ತುಂಬ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಸವರಲ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಯು ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಸಿ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಪಿಲಿಕುಳ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಪರ್ ದಿ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ತಾರಾಲಯ ತಾರಾಲಯ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಫನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೆನಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ದಿ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯಾಂಡಮಿಕ್ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೋರಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೀಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೋಲ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ದಿ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ನೀಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ನೀಡ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಡ್ರೀಮಿ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಚೀವ್ ಅವರ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಅಡಿಟೋರಿಯಂ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಅಡಿಟೋರಿಯಂ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಟಿವೇಷನ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೀಡಿಫೈನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ವಿ ರಾವ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಜಿಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ರೀಜಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್
I would like to tell all my junior students, youngsters who are going to be future scientists, that everything is possible. So your background, your parents' education, your economic background, your religion and your region background will not affect your performance in your life. So you should do focus on your goal, chase the goal. Commitment is very important. Hard work is very important. I'm sorry. This disturbance should not be there again. That's why. So based on commitment and identifying the opportunity and encashing the opportunity, you can grow. So there are two types of technologies emerging to solve all the three level problems. Basic uh, need based problems, advanced wants based problems and dreamy desire problems. What are the basic dream bas uh, basic uh, problems like uh, nutritious food to everyone? So this is a challenge. Even though we are in 21st century, we could not provide nutritious food to everyone in this world. So what is the solution? There are the two solutions. One is uh, smart agriculture technology should improve. Second one, like how the plants are self-dependent. They are not depending on anybody else. So they create their food using natural resources. So we can also think of artificial food. So you can discover artificial food instead of natural food, which can uh, give a solution or alternative to our uh, basic need of food. Then we need drinking water. So drinking water is a challenge. Nowadays, because of the contamination uh, in every uh, place. So how to get drinking water? So we have huge reservoir, reservoir of uh, sea water. Then uh, here also, there is a water content. So how to convert this water into drinking water? How to convert sea water at a large scale and transporting them using natural resources like uh, solar energy is our challenge. Already technology has reached uh, this uh, sol solving these problems, but we can find further improvement in optimizing these solutions. Then the third one is energy. So we are looking for renewable energy. So solar energy, if we can tap it effectively by discovering devices which can have 80 to 90 percent efficiency, conversion efficiency. Uh, compared to present 21 or 25 percent, then uh, again it is a contribution to the society. So you have, then you should also find out uh, how we can develop smart homes which can provide all kind of, kind of comfortability. Already the concept of smart home is available and uh, our future generation has opportunity to realize these uh, smart homes using uh, two types of technologies. One is ICCT underlying technologies. ICCT full form is Information Communication and Computation Technology. So there are 12 identified ICCT technologies which are going to solve all our comfortable and dreamy desire related problems along with the nanotechnology. There might have, I think, one uh, girl while giving the feedback, she mentioned about nanotechnology. Nanobiotechnology is going to solve many problems in the society along with the ICCT underlying technologies. And it can make you like God. So we think, we always think that children are God. So how God is different than human being? So according to me, God has four special characteristics. Even though he is an imaginary entity. So these four characteristics we should develop in human beings. What are these four characteristics? First one is, God is omnipresence. Omnipresence. That means we believe that God, God is omnipresence. Now, using technology, we can be also on, on, omnipresent. So, using your mobile phone, you can contact with anybody in any corner of the world. You can see what is happening around him or her. You can continuously communicate with any any of your friends or any known people 
or unknown people also around the world. So you can be also ubiquitous. So this is the power of communication, electronic and opti optical communication. So we are very close to omnipresence. Now second characteristic of God is omnipotent. So you should have infinite power. So now our renewable energy technology is allowing us to use almost all power of or the energy of different suns to electrical energy. So if we can develop this uh, uh, electric, that means the solar technology, then we can have enough renewable energy for all our applications. And we can also create suns in our labs. You must have heard about China has uh, uh, developed a lab-based sun using a so, uh, fusion technology. So this is, a lot of things are possible to solve our problems using technology. Technology will solve almost all the problems of the human beings. So you can be omnipotent like God by harvesting the renewable energy for your applications, your requirements for solving your basic problems, advanced problems, and dreamy desired problems. Then the third characteristic of God is infinite knowledge. So God is, God knows everything. So we should also have infinite knowledge. How it is possible? You must be knowing now, one of uh, your friend, uh, he was also like you. He is the CEO of three innovative organizations. One is Tesla. Tesla is making autonomous car. And he has developed autonomous car which can travel from Mangalore to Chennai and return back to Mangalore without any further charge. Once you charge a Tesla car, it can travel 1,000 kilometers from here to Chennai and back to Mangalore. And uh, he has also developed second company, which is working on space research. So it is going to purchase even ISRO also in future days. And they have uh, planned to provide place, uh, space tourism. So they have already started booking the tickets to travel from here to moon, here to Mars, then to other planets of other stars also in future days. So this is the second company of Elon Musk. Then the third company is very interesting, which will make you infinite knowledge human being. So this third company is now working on doing clinical trials on implanting chips, small chips in your brain, in human brain. They have already done this experiment with the monkeys. And now they started uh, to implant chips, communicating chips to human brain. And if this becomes successful, then I can connect a chip to my brain and I can communicate with you, where you also have a chip in your brain. So we can communicate each other, brain to brain communication between different people. Then we can communicate to supercomputers, quantum computers also. So human computer, human interaction can take place so that you can share the knowledge between computer to human, human to human, human to computer. So knowledge is going to be just transferable like how you, you are transferring the information using a pen drive. So this is going to happen Soon, soon means five years to ten years, because clinical research is already started, clinical trial is already started. So in such cases, the knowledge can be transferable from one person to another person. As a result, a child at the year of two, two years will get graduated. So students need not go to the school later. So you can transfer the information and hence knowledge from one body to another body, human beings as well as computers. 
So now we have supercomputers with the speed of say up to 500 peta, 500 uh, uh, peta flops, peta flops. Recently IASC has purchased and installed a supercomputer with the 3.3 petaflop. So what is one flood petaflop? One petaflop is uh, one 15 zeros in front of it. So many operations per one second. One second. In front of one, you should put 15 zeros. So, so many operations per one second is equivalent to one petaflop. And Japan has developed world number one supercomputer with nearly 500 petaflop speed. So, what is one second? For one second, 500 in front of that 15 zeros number of operations takes place in the world highest speed computer or supercomputer. One second, all of you know, our, our children, students, how you define one second? Don't give me scientific uh, definition. Give me a smart definition. So assume we have a clock here. This clock is a 20th century clock, not 21st century clock. 21st century clocks are digital clocks. They don't have pendulum. Whereas 20th century clocks have pendulum. So pendulum in which one second is defined as the time between tick, 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 isn't it? So time between tick, tick is considered as one second. And for this one second, there will be 500 in front of that 15 zeros. You count what is that number. So many operations can take place in a supercomputer or so many clock pulses uh, will lead the computer. Now, we are entering to era of quantum computers. These quantum computers have at least 100 million time faster than world fastest supercomputers. So, this, if you can invent one powerful quantum computer, it can give you all the calculation requirement for entire world. So we need only one quantum computer, then through wireless technology, you can connect that quantum computer through our uh, cloud computing technology. We can connect to everyone's uh, mobile phone. So you don't need uh, a processor in mobile phone. You don't need a storage device also in mobile phone. You can store everything in a single place using cloud technology. So like this, sir, technologies are changing and there are many more opportunities are emerging to make uh, human life comfortable. As I said, uh, knowledge transfer can happen through this uh, uh, brain embedded ICs so that the knowledge can be infinite. So third characteristic of God can be achievable. Then the fourth characteristic of God is, God is immortal, isn't it? This is the story our seniors used to tell. So now we have to also become immortal. So we have to find, we have to discover a single medicine for all diseases. We got an experience of this severe pandemic times. So now scientists are, are working on how to develop a single medicine to cure all the diseases. We are already in the 21st century, during these 20 years, we have already developed a technology for regenerating the body organs. So if I encounter an accident, if I lose my one hand, I can grow this hand using nanotechnology, nanobiotechnology. If my heart becomes old, I can grow new heart using nanobiotechnology. If my lung becomes old or non-functional, I can grow new lung, I can grow new kidney, I can grow new liver. So like this, body organs can be grown newly using technology, nanobiotechnology. So based on this, the scientists are now trying to expand the lifespan of human beings. So we have to expand the lifespan to become immortal. So based on 
another technology which does reverse aging. So all old people can become young through innovations in science and technology. This is possible within few hundred years. Sometimes it may happen earlier than that. There is a say that if you can live till 2050, you will live forever in your life. Yes, so living up to 2050 is our challenge now. Lot of wars are taking place. Uh, lot of people are losing their control. Uh, so the solution is how to manage these challenges in the society is the challenge for the, the people in, in future days. So now uh, that means we can also become God by means of achieving all the four characteristics of God. But how to reach this level? So we need many experts. So as I said, ICCT technology has 12 technologies, underlying technologies. Artificial intelligence and robotics is one technology. Then uh, uh, data science and business analytics is another technology. Third one is blockchain technology, which can solve all corruptions in this world. So all corruptions can be solved or controlled by blockchain technology. Then the 3D technology allows you to print any device, any uh, product based on design by uh, producing or printing layer by layer. So you can print a mobile phone or you can print a speaker, microphone in future days using a single device by giving various types of required raw materials. Then we have uh, virtual reality and augmented reality technology where you can bring Amitabh Bachchan here and he can interact with all of you. Or you can bring the president of USA here and we, he can interact. You can bring president of Russia to here and you can ask questions to stop the war. So like this, lot of unexpected things are possible through virtual reality and augmented reality. These are all not the stories. They are, they are going to happen based on your contribution to the science and technology. So we need more scientists and engineers who can really contribute by means of their creativity and innovation. So we can also convert this world into heaven. We can convert this world into heaven, this society into heaven. And everyone can become like God. So this is possible. So only thing is our future generation should have a hope and self-control. So this self-control is very important. You should not lose your self-control and follow wrong paths in your life. So if you are committed and if you have a desire to serve the society through innovative ideas, you can also become scientists like uh, our scientists are sitting here, engineers. So you, today is a National Science Day. You have, we have to remember the only one scientist who got a Nobel Prize in India for his research carried out in India. There are many other scientists got Nobel Prize from India, but they did their research in advanced countries or developed countries using advanced or, or, uh, technologies or facilities. Whereas uh, Dr. C. V. Raman did his research using local apparatus, Indian, in Indian environment. So he was a finance officer after his uh, master's degree in physics, he joined as a finance officer to government of British or British government in India. And then uh, at that time, he was getting 1,200 rupees salary per month, which was a very lucrative salary. But he thought that, no, my aim is different. So I have to do some research and contribute to the society. Based on that, he resigned his uh, 1,200 rupees monthly salary plus perks to a professor with the 800 rupees salary. So such a commitment can only change the, uh, uh, the uh, change your mindset and you can also become scientists. So our science center uh, with the 
directorship of Dr. K. V. Rao is motivating many young students, providing opportunities to many young students. Whatever fun science you have seen today can be realized in future days. I don't know, I have not visited fun science lab, but I imagine that there were some funds which you might have imagined only, but you, you can realize it in future days. You can be also another C. V. Raman in future days. And you can also grab many Nobel Prizes. Possible, everything is possible, provided you have a desire and self-control and commitment. With this, uh, I wish you all the best. I'm sure that you will carry your, your today's uh, experience and happiness along with you to your school and uh, you will motivate your teachers also to do some new experiments. So do some experiments and uh, try to solve many future problems. Thank you. I'm